Hey there, welcome back to Treadmill Review Guru. Today we're looking at the Nordic Track X22i. This is one of Nordic Track's incline trainers. We're gonna take a look at what it does, how it functions, the incline, decline, and a little bit of eye fit. All right, first of all, let's take a look at the overall construction of the X22i. So as an incline trainer, this, this does not fold up. It's designed to sit on your floor and stay there. Your total footprint is 70 inches long, 40 inches wide, and at your highest point up here on the top of your sled grip, it's 72 inches high. So it's a slightly larger machine, but for what it does, it's an incredible piece of equipment. As you can see here, I've got the deck inclined. The Nordic Track incline trainers will lift to a 40% grade, which is the highest on the market. Even the ones that you see commercial treadmills in a gym might hit 30% incline, but 40 is really the steepest that you can find. And that really helps maximize calorie burn. It allows you to walk at an incline, still uh, work really hard, stay low impact. So we love the 40% incline. It is impressive. It will also drop to a negative 6% decline, so you get quite a bit of decline in there. It doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're walking on that decline, you can feel it. It's great for recovery, conditioning and strengthening the knees, conditioning and strengthening the quads, kind of works that anterior chain, muscle chain. One thing I really like on these incline trainers is you've got steel support beams underneath. I've inclined the deck so you can kind of see. You've got beams that run the length of the deck and then you've got um, cross beams underneath that really hold it securely. If you look carefully, you can see the incline arm. It's under the center of the deck. And back here, you've got your motor. So the X22i has a 44.0 horsepower motor. So it's a really pretty strong motor. It will support heavy training, multiple users, lots of hill work, intervals. The motor will support some real intense work on, on this machine. So it's a 300 pound max user weight. And your step up height, I'll, I'll decline the deck in a minute and show you, but your step up height when it is not inclined, when it's just at a 0% grade is about 14 inches. So not too bad, just a little bit over a foot. As I've got it inclined here, the top of the deck inclines to about 31 inches. So if you are gonna put it in a room, make sure that you check for headspace because it's gonna lift you quite a bit off the floor. The deck itself, your walking surface here is 22 inches wide by 60 inches long. So you've got a nice walking surface. And one thing I really like about the incline trainers is because they tuck the motor here in the back, it reduces the hood at the front. So you don't have your foot graze that hood. This I think is only about seven inches wide. So you got a lot of walking space, both right underneath the console and lots of kickback room. The uprights and handrails are powder coated uh, steel. So nice and secure. And this is a really durable surface. We like the pl plastic kind of covering too, but sometimes that can crack and wear a little bit. So I really like how they've just kind of simplified these handrails. They're steel powder coated, easy to hold. And your handrails, when the, when the track is dropped down to that 0% grade, they're about 37 inches high. So you've got some, some nice height there. The one thing that's really nice about these is the cushioning in the deck is proportional to the user's weight. So heavier runners will be able to get a little more travel underneath that deck, get greater amount of cushion to support joints and back. Lighter runners will get whatever is needed for their weight. So that reflex cushioning in the deck is, is a really nice feature and you can feel it when you're on this machine. We describe it as like running on a cloud. It just really feels nice. The X22i has a really good warranty. You've got 10 year warranty on the frame, two year parts and one year labor. The X22i and its sister machine, the X32i are both Nordic Tracks premier incline trainers. And um, we'll take just a minute and look at overall functionality. All right, let's take a look at some of the functionality on the X22i. Um, like I said, you just got a 14 inch step up height, so not too bad right there to that level grade. And then it will incline up to 40%. So I'm gonna take it up and I want you just to listen to the sound of the motor. It moves really smooth. 
So even if I'm walking, um, I don't lose my balance at any point. All right, so here you can see, this is the deck all the way in climb to that 40% grade, it is steep. Even if I just walk right here, less than a mile an hour, I really have to stay focused and balanced. Core is tight, hips and glutes are engaged just to maintain that incline. Pick up my speed just a little bit, one mile an hour. In just a second, I'm gonna be out of breath. So this 40% incline is really steep. It gives you lots of training variables. And the nice thing is you can walk and still stay low impact, but get a really good workout. I'm gonna drop it down back to about a 20. So watch and see how long it takes, listen to the noise. It's very smooth when inclining or declining. Let's kick up the speed just a little bit. I'm gonna run for a second and listen to what it sounds. Inclined, 20% grade. Let's do about four miles an hour. See if I can hold it there. All right, here we are, back on our flat road. I'm gonna do five miles an hour, then I'll kick it up to six, hit seven, and then drop it back down. You can kind of listen to the sound of foot impact and also how much noise the motor makes. It makes hardly any with speed. So let's start off five miles an hour right here. Zero incline. You can see that reflex cushioning under the deck. Just a little bit of travel. All right, I'm gonna kick it up to six. Here's seven. All right, slowing it back to a one mile an hour pace. You can hear there's really not much noise at all. One thing that's really cool with the incline trainers is they have both this horizontal push bar and the sled grip bars up here. So you can drop your speed to one mile an hour, make sure you don't have any incline, and you can pivot your body and push that belt along with your feet. So my upper body is engaged, core is tight. This really kicks up that calorie burn. Once again, your low impact. We can do it up here. So that sled push mode is really a cool feature. Just kind of engages that upper body. It's another way to torch calories. Um, I'm gonna drop it down to a negative six decline. So you can see how it looks when that nose is down. That decline is significant enough that I have to step back just a little bit to counterbalance. So you get some nice downhill work. We'll run again for just a second and you can listen on a decline. Start at five miles an hour. Nice and easy. All right, I'm gonna hold my pace, turn on the fan. There's low. There's medium. Here's high. I'm gonna turn the instructor volume up about halfway. That right there. So we've got fan going, we've got belt going. We've got the volume about halfway up on the trainer. I'll run for a second. Mm -hmm. 
I can still easily hear the trainer. Noise is not very much. The nice thing about these fans is they do pivot down or up just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna bring that deck back to flat grade. And drop my speed just a little. So as you can see, a lot of training variables on the incline trainer. You've got level negative six up to zero, all the way up to 40. Top speed is 12 miles an hour, which is plenty fast even on a flat road. The motor is quiet. The deck is quiet. At an incline, you get a really good calorie burn. Engage those posterior muscles. Stay low impact, working hard. You can also drop it down. It's perfect for hit training, hill work, intervals. And the other nice thing is iFit will control. It has automated controls for both incline and speed that correlate with the program you're on. So I don't have to worry about listening and constantly be, be moving where I'm supposed to be, it will automatically do it for me. So I'll show you that in a little se in a second when we go over iFit. I'm gonna stop. Your fan automatically stops when you exit your program, so it won't keep running when you get off the machine, which is really nice. So if you drop it down to a negative six decline, your top speed is capped at six miles an hour. If you drop it to a negative three decline, your top speed is capped at eight miles an hour, just for your safety. All right, we're gonna take a look at the console on the X22i. So this has a gorgeous 22 inch full color touchscreen. It's just beautiful. I love the size for me, it's just perfect. Um, and you don't lose your one touch controls here. You've still got those on either side of the screen. So really nice setup. I love the way that Nordic Track has kind of streamlined all of their consoles. So it doesn't matter if you're on the 1750 or the X22i or the X32i the layout is roughly the same. So if, you, if you're upgrading a machine, you're already gonna be comfortable with where everything is and how it functions. You've got two little side pockets here on either side to easily hold a phone. You've also got a nice thick lip right here so you can set your phone up on the ridge if you want. Because the screen is so large, the phone, even when sitting right here, it really doesn't cover up much, so you're, you're still good. You've got easy water bottle pockets right back on either side of the screen. Sled push grip is right here. The X22i comes standard with a chest strap, which will sync with your workout metrics on the screen, so that's really nice. Um, and it automatically just syncs right up as soon as you put it on. Like I mentioned earlier, you've got fans right here, two fans in the console that do pivot up and down, depending on how tall you are, what incline you're working, and you've got speakers on either side. You can Bluetooth from, your, from the machine, from your phone to the machine, so if I wanna play my music while I watch an iFit program, I can sync my phone to the speakers and play my music that way. If you want to play volume or sound from the machine and get, them on, get it on wireless headphones, you'll need a, a, a transmitter. Really cheap, really easy. You just plug it right over here on the aux port on the side, and then you can use those wireless headphones. It makes it really convenient. So anyway, let's just look at the screen and what it does. You've got a pivot, so I can tilt it up or I can drop it down. So it gives you a little bit of angle there. I've inclined the deck all the way up. Even at the top, you've got a nice view. So regardless of where you're working, you can pretty much see what's going on. iFit is really impressive with the classes and the features that it offers. And one thing that I really love is that they not only have indoor classes, where it's filmed in a studio, but they also have a ton of outdoor classes. So let's just take a look right here. They'll always have a workout of the day that kind of comes up. So you can look through that and they've got a quick overview of a few little classes, but this is kind of it. And then if you want to get into the full library, you have two options to get there. You can either just hit browse here on the bottom or you can go to the big workout library tab there, but it will bring up some of the different categories of runs or walking series or whatever you want. So most popular is here at the top. Then they'll break running series down into locations. 
You've got Rapa Nui running series, a Bolivia beginner cardio hit series, Germany holiday walk and jog series. So some of these are really nice if you just kind of want to unwind in the evening and you don't feel like doing a really hard hit workout, but you want to just walk through Germany, you can do it. So one of the things I love about iFit is that the functionality is all automated. So when I go into this class, it's automatically going to start me where the trainer wants me to be. And as we move through, the incline and the speed will adjust based on the natural terrain of the area that you're working in or the direction that the trainer gives you. So up here at the top, you've got a nice metric bar. It's adjustable, so it tells you your incline, vertical gain, vertical loss, calories burned, time, distance, and speed. So you'll notice the mile per hour just dropped by one. We started at two for that warm up. Now we're just at one mile an hour as he explains what we're gonna do. Blows us up, tells us to stretch to begin a little bit, but you can see the graphics are really nice. Here we are in Germany. You got a couple different options here on the screen. You can do full screen. Get rid of that metric bar if you want. Or I can bring in the workout controls here on the side. Up here in the top left, you adjust your volume. And this is one thing that I really like is that you can adjust the music. You can adjust the trainer and then you can adjust both together. Pushing and driving. Okay. See you for a couple more seconds. We'll switch to the other side and then we'll start. So off. I've got the music all the way up, the ready, trainer down, driving. volumes up. Typically I'm the type of person where I turn the music down, trainer up so that I can hear him or her and then I'll modify my volume from there. So that's really cool that you can kind of control those how you need it. I'm gonna turn it down for now so I can keep talking, come back out. So let me turn on those fans, show you how the fans work. You've got the little fan takes it down a notch, big fan takes it up a notch. So to turn it on, I'm gonna hit the bigger fan button and it starts with low and then medium and then high. And then your fourth setting is auto. So the fan speed is going to correlate with whatever the belt is doing. So he's picked us up. We're now at 4.8 miles an hour. So if I hit auto, it's going to kind of modify it. If we're working really hard, it'll kick that fan speed up. If we recover and walk, it'll drop the fan speed back down. I'm going to turn it on high and kind of listen. Those fans are really quiet. You don't, there's no rattle. You don't hear anything. So it's really nice. And then you do have volume control down here on the console as well as up on the touch screen. So looking at these, these uh, controls on the side, you've got intermittent controls for your incline, negative six, negative three, zero, three, six, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and 35 and 40. Takes you all the way up. I can just hit one and it'll take me there. So now because I've modified this just a little bit, where the natural incline of where he is was just a level grade, but I've inclined it, it will stay there. So I can always, autom I can always override the automation. But if I wanna go back to where the trainer has it set, I just hit the follow trainer icon and it'll drop it right back and stream into that functionality again. So you'll ha your handlebar span right here is 34 inches which is really nice width, feels very comfortable. And I love the side rails here at the bottom. They're angled in every, ever so slightly and textured. So when I wanna step off that track really quick, I can do it um, and I don't ever feel like I'm gonna lose my balance or fall off the treadmill. So let me stop this program. You can see it gives me an option to hang, like let's say you have to run an errand or grab the phone or help a child. You got 10 minutes and it'll resume right where you were. So anyway, down here at the bottom, you've got home, which is your main menu screen, calendar. So let's say I wanna schedule a class or something. I can go into the calendar and say, oh, I'm gonna take this class on Wednesday because I know I've got an hour on Wednesday, I'll do it then. Um, it also gives you an overview of what you've done, your workouts for the last little bit. Another cool thing about iFit is you can create a route. All right, so let's say I want to run in Boston and I know the route. 
So I'm going to bring up Boston, Massachusetts, and this is the Google Maps overview. And then I can start uh, where I want the route to start and just kind of move along. I'm not actually doing the route here, I'm just doing an example. So just using the touch screen, I can move it along, come back out here to Beacon Street. And there we go. So I've just created my map. So once I've created my map, I just go, it's gonna tell me vertical gain, calorie burn, estimated time and distance. And then I can just save it as a new workout. I name it. And then I can do that workout again later. I can um, time myself so that I do it multiple times and compare how fast my pace is. So the Google Maps thing is really nice, especially if it's winter and you're indoors, but you're training for an outdoor event. You've got that option. So there it is. There's my custom route. Great console, very nice layout. Functionality is just kind of been streamlined. The, the touch screen is clear, easy to use, easy to see, really brings the programs right into your view, makes you feel like you're there. Uh, both indoor and outdoor classes and options, keeps track of your metrics, keeps track of what you've done throughout the week and the month. So we really love the functionality of the console on the X22i. All right, so there you have it. Quick overview of the Nordic Track X22i. It's an impressive machine uh, with a lot of really cool features and functions. So for more information, check us out at treadmillreviewguru.com. And for a current list of prices, click on the link below.